ABC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Good evening. Senator Sam Nunn has opposed to President Clinton's plan to lift the ban on homosexuals in the U.S. military. And today, Nunn had a receptive audience, sailors at the naval base in Norfolk, Virginia. The Senate Armed Services Committee held a hearing on gays in the military, and NBC's Lisa Myers was in Norfolk. The committee's mission, find out how those most affected feel about allowing gays to serve openly in the military. Having uh, uh, a homosexual next to me, that would, uh, that would always be on my mind. On ships and in a hearing, opposition was overwhelming and passionate. Uh, it's kind of curious that Mr. Clinton, after breaking every other campaign promise, uh, intends to cash on this issue. Uh, this petty officer pointed out that she must sleep and shower inches away from shipmates. And if you ask me to share that with a homosexual, then you've taken away that last little piece of dignity that I have. To drive home the lack of privacy, Chairman Sam Nunn led the committee on tours of living quarters, bathrooms, and berths, which sailors call home. These men sleep ear to ear in the torpedo room of the country's newest attack submarine. So what happens when someone rolls over at night? You get an elbow in the air. <laughs> On this issue, Nunn at times resembles a prosecutor methodically laying out his case. He considers the men and women of the United States military his star witnesses. Well, let me just get a show of hands of everybody who would be in favor of keeping the policy like it is now, which is keeping your private life private. That's Nunn's position, that gays should be allowed okay, to serve only if they remain the in the closet. The the strongest dissent from that position came from two officers whose careers are in peril simply because they are open about their homosexuality. We have fought for our country. We have died for our country. This is not about special rights for anyone. It's about equal rights for everyone.